Okay, now we are going to go to our uh, TJ Wings Hot and Honey Picks of the Week. Uh, we're going to look at three games, a noon slate, a three Fox slate, and then the uh, Sunday night game, uh, and give you our, our bets for those games. We'll look back real quick on week six, our week six cards for our three hottest games, which were Brown Steelers, Packers, Tampa, and Rams, Niners. Yours truly. Obviously, I'm in last place in the odd sports or the odd bets of the week and in the locks of the week. But when it comes to these three games, sample size of one week, I am your man. I am two and one, absolutely fired up, plus 0.82 of a unit, absolutely steaming hot over here. I took Steelers minus three and a half. There's a winner. Rams Niners under 51, which contradicted uh, Collins lock of the week last week. And my loser was Packers minus two and a half. In second place is Matt with a one and two record at minus 1.09 units. He had Steelers minus three and a half, which was a winner. He lost Packers minus two and a half and Rams minus three and a half was also a loser. Then we have tied for last PJ and Colin. I don't even want to say this because it doesn't give us good credibility. You guys are both (laughs) 0 and 3 down three units, which is, you know, 3.82 units to the leader, which is, I don't know if you heard myself. You guys both had Browns plus three and a half. Packers minus two and a half and Rams minus three and a half. It shows that a copycat league does not work. So you guys should not be copying each other this week. You couldn't have picked them worse. Could not have picked them worse. Yeah, no, you couldn't have. But hopefully you'll get one right maybe this week. We're going to start with the game of the week, arguably, as Colin mentioned earlier in our prep, the game of the season, which is, you know, you wouldn't have thought so going in, going into uh, uh, the year. It is a battle of the undefeated. There's three undefeated teams left. Seattle's one of them, but these two are the others. It's Pittsburgh Steelers at the Tennessee Titans. The Titans are favored by one. The over-under is 50 and a half. Matt, what's your pick? My pick this week, going with Steelers minus two, or I guess it's plus one right now. Uh, Whatever the line is, take it. I'm going Steelers. Uh, Tennessee defense allows 5.1 yards per rushing attempt to their opponents. They allow opponents to score on 14 of 16 red zone trips this year. Uh, that's last in the NFL. And they can they allow opponents to convert around 58% of their third down attempts, also last in the NFL. I expect a large day from James Conner in the Pittsburgh offense. Uh, they're going to roll. Um, that pass rush is going to get to Tannehill. They're going to get in his head. They're going to slow down Derrick Henry, and the Steelers are going to win. PJ, are you fading or tailing Matt's pick of uh, Steelers? No, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to tail that. Uh, he talked about the offense there for the uh, Titans a little bit, and uh, I'm going to stick with the, the Steelers' defense. That front seven is really good. Uh, when you think of the Tennessee Titans and why they're good, you think of Derrick Henry. Uh, but I think that, that Steelers' front seven is going to get back there all day, and they'll, they'll kind of not – you can't stop Derrick Henry. He's a beast. But you'll contain him to the point where you'll contain him enough to allow Big Ben to uh, put up the points necessary to win that game. Colin, what are you doing? This is the easiest thing in the world. I'm considering withdrawing my entire bank account, not that much, and putting it entirely on this account, on this bet. It is, I mean, I'm looking at it. Titans have scored 33, 31, 42, 42. The last two weeks for the Steelers, 38, 38. Points, overs, over 50 and a half, over team total for the Steelers, over team total for the Titans. I'm addicted to the overs. Give them to me. I don't want to mess with the game. I don't want to even like root for a team because I'm in, I just want to enjoy some two undefeated good football teams. Derrick Henry might be the best running back of all time. Uh, I could watch him throw Josh Norman to the ground any time of the day. Give me the over. All right, I like it. So we got two guys on Pittsburgh, one guy on the over. And this guy, he didn't get to make an appearance last week, but he wants to make an appearance this week. Oh so we're gonna God. we're gonna let him. It is time for dog the dog. Give me Pittsburgh money line plus 105. <laughs> Pittsburgh gives up just 66 rushing yards per game, which ranks second in the NFL. Tennessee gives up 137 per game. And James Conner, Pittsburgh's running back, has over 100 rush yards in his last two games. Tennessee. Uh, it does have 157 rush yards per game, but they have not gone up against a defense like Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has sacked quarterbacks five times a game. Tennessee only allows one per game. Ten Hill will get hit. Pittsburgh money line plus 105. A good pick, dog. Good pick. Good pick. Can you even call the Steelers a dog? Dog. I mean, the yeah. odds plus 105. Is that dog money? Is it dog money? I think it's dog money. Yeah. All right, so like Chihuahua nobody's money. on the Titans. Last time we had a. <laughs> Last time we had a consensus pick, we, we we got destroyed by the Packers, Buccaneers. So thank you, Colin, for taking the over instead of 
Pittsburgh, so we can win. I mean, it's free, so I think everyone should take it. You should take your parents' money, your family's money, put it all on that. It's is it a flack? Is it a flack pick? No. Uh, I mean, the future wife and kids pick. W F A K. I I mean, yeah, I have no issue throwing my kids' college fund, my wife's spending money (laughs) out the door. I mean, it'll double. It'll double by Sunday at four, so they'll be happy. I don't think that's the lock, though. All right, PJ, I'm coming to you for the 305 game that we're covering. It's Seattle at Arizona. The Seahawks are favored by three and a half points on the road versus the Cardinals over under 56. What's your pick? Uh, it's the Seahawks. Russell Wilson's the MVP of this league currently. Uh, it's going to be a fun game to watch. Those two quarterbacks going back and forth. Kyler and Russell is going to be really, really, really good match to watch. Um, but I just think Russell Wilson. I always, I always roll with the quarterbacks, the better quarterback. And I just think Russell Wilson's clearly the better quarterback here. So I'm going with the Seahawks. Matt? Colin, ear muffs real quick. You're not going to like this one. <laughs> He's literally um, wearing them right now. <laughs> I'm going with uh, the under 56 and a half on this one. Sick. 56, um, 56. 56. I'm going to go with the under 56. That half point doesn't bother me. Uh, Arizona's hit the under in all six of their games this year. Seattle's 9-2 and on the under during their last 11 matchups as a road favorite. Here's how I see this one playing out. Seattle takes a big lead. They start running out clock. I'm thinking like a – Another, I know this has just happened on Monday, you know, 38, 10, it's kind of an ideal score there. Uh, Cardinals are going to get blown out. They're, they're not good enough to keep up with uh, the Seahawks. Do not let them beating up on the lowly Cowboys with Andy Dalton as the quarterback. Do do not let that cloud your judgment here. Just hammer the under and, and move on. So inadvertently there, you didn't catch that. Matt's also tailing me there because if he thinks it's going to be the blowout one for the Seahawks, he's inadvertently tailing my Seahawks minus three and a half. So thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. If he thinks it's going to be a blowout, I don't understand why he doesn't just take Seahawks minus three and a half. That's the smart gambler. I like the under. I like bad gamblers. I'm the undertaker. I love the under. The undertaker. Okay. Before I come to you, Colin, I'm going to give you guys my pick since Matt is not going to like my pick. I love my pick. Absolutely love it. It's free money. It's plus 131. Okay, so you're getting plus money. Dog the dog wanted to make this pick, but I'm too proud of this one. I have to give it. It's Seattle to win by one to 13 points, plus 131. What? Seahawks are 5-0, and oh, and all five wins have come by one to 13 points. The Cardinals have not lost a game by more than 13 points. Last time Seahawks won by 14 points was week four of last year. We're not going to talk about who that was against because it happened to be the Cardinals, but we're not going to talk about that because we don't <laughs> like to, we don't like to make narratives that don't support my argument. So we're going to take Seahawks <laughs> one to 13 points plus plus one thirty one. That feels insanely free to me. What do you think, Colin? And then give us your pick. Uh, I can't believe that's even a bet. They're, <laughs> it's an ATM. They're giving away money. Um, I would like to get in line behind you, but I'm not going to, not going to, you know, steal your bet there that's beautiful um my pick i mean i'm going so i have two that i'm really like i'm gonna give out the second one but my my official pick is over 27 first half uh i like in case you weren't listening i'm addicted to overs i cannot bend under it it, it's physically hard i shake i i just head rushes i can't bet the under it's disgusting over 27 it's going to be in the 30s or maybe in 40s in the first half but this is like, I mean, this, I don't even know how they're giving this out. Will there be a successful two point conversion in the game? Plus 275, Bree, Bree, Bree. There's going to be three two point conversions in the game. And like, I mean, like PJ said, Russell Wilson, best in the best in the league at the moment. And he, I mean, why go for one when you can go for two? So your official bet shooting. is not, is it the over first half or is it the two point conversion plus 275? Only one counts. This isn't, you know, this isn't. I didn't know. I didn't know here. if we were allowed to go so deep into the like the odd. Like Absolutely. this is kind of an odd, this is kind of an odd bet. That's um, okay. No, it can be your official bet, but you can only have. It's going to be the official bet because plus two point five is too much to give up. I'm behind. I'm zero and three. It was disgusting week last week. Um, I mean, like I said, there's going to be three two point conversions. You're going to be up plus two point seven five units. The over is still free if you need that pick as well, but go for the two point conversion here. You're welcome. Okay. I like it. We're going to go to a Sunday night game that hopefully gets played. Honestly, it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus three and a half. They're visiting Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. The over under is 52 PJ. What's your pick for this one? So honestly, first off, I want to say that Vegas stadium is absolutely sick. It's one of the coolest stadiums in professional sports. So friends of the podcast, they're friends of the podcast. Death star. 
not not yet but if you want to be friends with the podcast any Raiders players are welcome to come on the podcast we'd love to have you um I'm going I better get Tom Brady last week I can't do it again he embarrassed us um we had our consensus on Aaron Rodgers there and he just absolutely embarrassed us so I'm gonna go with Tampa Bay minus uh three and a half um Tom Brady's been a lot better than he was to start the season um he's actually starting to get rolling a little bit he's a dangerous man when he's playing well uh so I'm going with Tampa Bay all right, so you're taking Tampa Bay minus three and a half. Matt, you fading, tailing, or going somewhere else? Uh, first, this game, the line on this, it reeks. It stinks like garbage that you put out on the curb, gets rained on, and then you realize it's a holiday weekend, so they're Good not picking you. it up, so you got to take it back in and let another week's garbage build up on top of it before it gets picked up. It stinks. It's gross. With that being said, I'm going with the Raiders' money line. This is a John Gruden revenge game. He hates the Buccaneers. You think he hasn't had this game circled for months? He knows. He's ready. I'm going to sell high on Tampa Bay here. I, uh, I don't think they can string together two in a row. Um, I, I believe this line might be taken off the board at some places, but when it comes back, you might even get better money on the Raiders, depending on what their O-line situation is right now with uh, the Rona. So I'm rolling with Raiders' money line. That's what I'm going to go with. All right. Our resident uh, contact tracer, Colin Ritter, might have to – contact who they've been with if they've been with Derek Carr have they been with Josh Jacobs have they been with John Gruden give us some inside information do you have any inside information on your calls and what's your pick listen I am currently tracing for the state of Arkansas but my services are whoever is willing to pay so if Nevada needs me to come contact Trace Raiders I will do it and I will do it happily and because of that connection I'm taking the Raiders plus the points but here's my real reason. After watching Tampa Bay, I've watched them a couple of times this year. And last year I watched them a lot because I had a couple of, of their players on my fantasy team. And they were a fun team to watch. Godwin, Evans, up the field. James throwing picks, sixes, throwing touchdowns, points, points, points. Again, I'm addicted to points. But somehow, and I've known this for a while, Tom Brady gets put on a team and he just sucks the fun out of the game. Dump downs to Ronald Jones, little slants to Mike Evans. Where's the yards? Where's the yards in the air? He can't throw. He's washed. Gronk is catching passes. It makes me sick. I don't want to watch Tampa anymore. They're a fraudulent team who somehow beat up on the Packers last week. It doesn't make sense. Give me the Raiders. All right. As Max Kellerman would say, the, the fate of the universe in one guy's eyes or hands. I don't even know what the saying is, but you know what I'm talking about. Are you having Drew Brees or Tom Brady complete a 50 yard pass into the end zone? Neither. I'm having, I'm, I'm, I'm fate of the universe. Tom. Give me Andre Iguodala. <laughs> Give me Andre Iguodala. I would rather have Taysom Hill throw. Tom. I really don't think Drew Brees can throw the ball further than five yards right now. Like, I, I actually think that he's physically incapable of throwing more than five to ten yards. Can I put the Saints on the fraud list? I've been saying since Ooh. week two, I want Jameis in. And that offense, yes. like, I feel bad. Jameis. For, I feel bad oh, for Jameis Mike Thomas. For Jameis time. Oh, I mean, if you're a football fan, yes, like, he needs to figure out the interceptions. But it's just the excitement. It's the electricity. If you need seven points, I'm looking at Jameis, whether it's for the other team or for your team. Like, there will be seven points somewhere if Jameis is on the field. Drew Brees, I don't know how they, they won that game against the Chargers. He looked abhorrent. He looked like one of us were out there throwing the ball. Um, and then that, like, I audibly gasped when he threw that touchdown to Jared Cook. And that's like, Mahomes could throw that left handed behind his back. I'm sick. Get Drew Brees out of my face. Get Brady out of my face. Give me Jameis. Let's, I'm, let's not disrespect the goat Drew Brees, though. Let's, let's pay. You know, he was very, very good. It's just he probably should have retired a year or two ago. Did you say but, the goat? He, and he's a great quarterback okay that's not the goat is a loose term no he's not the goat he's not he's the goat. as much as i don't like as much as i don't like tom brady tom brady's probably the goat drew, drew Brees. Brees, drew Brees is the goat of making uh flag comments that he doesn't know anything about drew Brees is rex grossman with some clout that's it he's not special <laughs> Whoa. he's rex grossman with clout Whoa. I'm going to fade that Whoa. comment right there. He's he's Rex Grossman <laughs> oh with Tracy Porter on his team in 20. Oh, yeah. my. Yeah. Rex the Grossman with clout. disrespect for Drew Brees right now is absolutely sickening. I mean, I'm if a, they don't – if the Saints don't uh, get that onside kick to start the second half, he doesn't even have the Super Bowl ring. Facts. And so, I still hold a grudge. I still hold a grudge from the Rams-NFC Championship game where they – 
they choked so hard. And yes, it was a blown call. But they should the Rams should never even been in a position to tie the game. And then we were forced to watch Rams Patriots, which I will never forgive the NFL <laughs> for making us watch. That was the worst Super Bowl in the history of Super Bowls. Because Thirteen to three. In St. Louis, being from St. Louis, you hate the Rams. Everybody hates Tom Brady and the Patriots. So yeah. it was literally one. It was honestly that was the worst case scenario for who I could have watched in the Super Bowl. It was absolutely horrific. It was the and cheaters the versus sucked. the Leavers. And then the game sucked on top of it. All right. The biggest play in the game was a 35-yard pass to Gronk that didn't result in a touchdown. I can't we'll, believe we'll this. Fact check that one, but it could be right. Uh, so <laughs> it I am, is. I am also putting the Saints on my fraud list. Thank you for bringing that up, Calm. That's my You're first welcome. team to go to my fraud list. I've got some others, but we'll wait for their games to come up before I before I mention them. Uh, you guys gave your pick like an hour and a half ago. Do you guys mind if I like give my pick or choose? Ender, <laughs> <you know? laughs> I go mean, ahead. The viewers honestly, will mind. Honestly, I'd really <laughs> – well, it's fade Mike season, so they want my pick <laughs> to fade me. Uh, this one's really tough for me just because of what Matt was saying with their offensive linemen. They have all five of them not practicing right now because they've been in contact with somebody with COVID. Um, I mean, the odds could really change on this game depending on that. So, if they don't play, I really like the Bucks. So, I'm just going to take the Buccaneers minus three and a half and just say that I don't know what the Raiders are going to be throwing out there. So I'll just take uh, the known team in Tampa, but I do not like that pick at all. It's my least favorite bet of the week. It is the average Joe pick of the week, also by lane three and a half with Tampa Bay. Any closing thoughts, boys? Just trying not to be a square this week is all. <laughs> Thank you to TJ Wings, our sponsor of this. Uh, so Wing, wings sound pretty go good. Eat, go eat TJ Wings. They're hot and honey wings are the best in St. Louis for sure. Probably not lying. Not Best in the St. Louis that. area. And, and go Dan, read our go, wings. go read our article on our locks as well for Sunday. We each give our lock of the week. Um, and TJ Wayne's also gives their lock. If they hit, if they hit their bet, who knows? Maybe a little discount. You'll have to read the article to find out what that discount is or if there is one. Hint there is. Uh, so go read that article uh, and root for their pick so that you guys can get some discounted wings this upcoming week. All right, guys, best of luck this week. Good luck catching me in the standings. I'm two and one, hot as can be. Get off the tracks. What, are, what are you in our locks? What are you in our locks? And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.